Thanks for starting a trial website with FinalWeb. You've either already started with a certain template, or you're about to select one to work with. The next step following template selection is organizing menu options for the top and possibly side menu, depending on which design is being used. Working with menus is as easy as clicking and dragging items around in the menu builder window. You can drag unwanted items into the trash, or drag page types from the list of available ones in the library below. New pages can even be created simply by selecting the text page item in the bottom of the window and dragging it up to the menu area where it should be placed. Now content for those pages will be added later after you navigate to them for the first time. When your menus are finished, simply click the Save button in the top of the Builder window to continue working on the site. The last and most time-consuming step is providing content for your pages. Some pages give you a wizard-like set of tools with which the content is automatically configured, while other page types provide significant flexibility yet require more fine-tuning to make sure everything looks as you'd like. The home page for each site is one that allows for simple addition of images and content so that you can make a good first impression to your visitors. And we'll start with the most obvious element of the home page, which is the top banner section. To add new images to the slider, simply click on the Edit Top Bar Images button to get started. Click Add New Image to begin adding your own. The process is simple. Click Upload to add a file from your computer, or Browse to add one that we already have available. Once an image is set, the next thing to do is to click the Automatically Resize button so that the image is modified in order to fit the specific dimensions of the top bar area for your template. Drag the crop area around to make the final adjustments. Some templates allow for these banner images to contain links, like this, and some allow for overlay text to be made. Here's a quick example, and then just save the menu to finalize the edits. Adding other images can be done in the exact same way. The finished product looks great and is functional at the same time. Before looking at some other things, it's now good to mention two important design customizations that can be made. First, some templates allow for custom background images. In this template, the background for the slider area can be changed, so we can just click the Edit Background Image button to get started. Upload a local image file or simply select from the library and save the changes. Second, clicking the Edit Color Palette link in the Admin Toolbar brings up a customization menu. Add a new palette and then select it to start customizing it. Most colors change live as you work with them and then the new palette can be saved and or activated at the same time. Next, we'll take a look at this box menu that is underneath the banner area. Not all templates have this component, but we'll demonstrate it here in case yours does. Some templates only allow for two or three static boxes, while others utilize a menu to add a variable number of items. In that case, you'd first select the Edit Box Menu button to work with the links themselves. As in the Menu Builder example before, Simply drag items into the menu area that should be included as boxes. We'll demonstrate with an existing page called Bible Studies, and then with two new pages that can be called Ministries and Leadership. Save the menu changes to get ready to add the images. Click the button to again upload or select the image which should be used in the box. Do this for all the boxes and the home page is really beginning to look complete. Now would be a good time to start adding content to some of the inside pages. We'll start with the audio download library, which can hold audio files, videos, and documents, even all at the same time. Adding a new file is as easy as clicking the Add New Record button, then selecting the file that should be added to the library. After it is finished uploading, you can manage the other bits of information about the file, and then save the changes to see it in the library. Next, calendar items are simple to add. Click to add a new event, and then begin to add basic information about the event inside the new window. 
starting and ending dates are very important for recurrence or for multi-day events. And be sure to set the specific time so that it will display in the correct order on the date. Once it is saved, the calendar items will be viewable in both the grid layout and the upcoming events page if you've added that to your menus. Lastly, a custom page provides a number of tools regarding content type and arrangement. For this About Us page, we're first prompted to add a text section as the menu builder implied. I'm going to upload an image from my computer and then add some text to the side. After adding the first text section, you might want to add a welcome YouTube clip or a new column with upcoming events or a preview of a blog or even of an audio download library. All of these can be added to the same page by clicking the Add Section link in the Page Tools menu and then by using this list of section types. Simply drag onto the content area a section that you'd like to use and configure it using the window that appears. Text can even be modified in line without having to open an editing window on these custom pages. And as you can probably see, there are so many more features and tools to work with. It might take a long time to figure out all that is available, but please know that our support team is happy to assist you and our documentation, tips, blog, and library of training videos have been designed to provide convenient answers for common questions. We trust that you will find FinalWeb to be your final stop on the search for a complete web solution.